In honor of Odell Beckham Jr.'s $95 million contract extension, we decided to look at the active male athletes with the highest career earnings. Though many of these people are no-brainers, some will definitely surprise you. Make sure to stay tuned until the end to see which athlete has been making the big bucks for over a decade. Don't worry, you guys are all number one to us. Make sure you don't lose favor by liking this video, subscribing to The Richest, and joining our notification squad. Now, here are the 10 highest paid male athletes who are still playing today. Dirk Nowitzki For your first surprise, Dirk Nowitzki is an active NBA player with one of the highest career earnings. The German-born power forward has made just over $250 million in career salaries. This total includes the one-year contract Dirk signed with the Dallas Mavericks in July of 2018, which will pay him $5 million this upcoming season. Thus, he'll be a contracted NBA player until he's at least 41 years old. Dirk began his NBA career in 1998 when he signed with the Mavericks for nearly $1.5 million a year. By 2002 to 2003, he was making $10 million a season. And by 2012 to 2013, he was pulling in $20 million per annum. Dirk's best financial season came in 2016-2017, when he was paid $25 million on a backloaded contract. Although these figures don't sound too shabby, Dirk could have made twice, if not three times as much money if he hadn't turned down almost every endorsement deal. Dirk's only partnership is with Nike, which pays him $1 million a year. But this is a sum for the use of equipment, not for the purpose of commercials and appearances. Neymar Give Neymar time to be the highest paid athlete in the world because at just 26 years of age, he's already in the top 10. The Brazilian forward, who plays for Paris Saint-Germain in Ligue 1, signed a contract in July of 2017 that will propel his career earnings past the $500 million mark. Paris Saint-Germain will pay Neymar $350 million over five years, which equates to $53 million per season in salary and a ridiculous amount in bonuses. This contract made Neymar the most expensive soccer player in history. In addition to salary and bonuses, Neymar receives approximately $22 million a year in endorsements. These include Nike, Gillette, Panasonic, and Beats by Dre. The electrifying soccer star has been voted the most marketable athlete in the world a couple of times, and it's easy to see why. He's young, good-looking, has a bubbly personality, and possesses a skill set that has been compared to fellow Brazilian soccer legend Pele. With so much going for Neymar, there's no limit to his future financial success. Manny Pacquiao A list like this wouldn't be complete without a boxer. And since Floyd, Money Mayweather is retired, we have to settle for the next best thing, Manny Pacquiao. The Filipino legend has earned over $510 million in his 23-year career. However, he made almost a quarter of his wealth from one fight, his 2015 match with Mayweather. Although Pacquiao lost, he took home $125 million. His earnings from boxing are well over $400 million. But surprisingly, the other $100 million doesn't come from endorsements. Pacquiao's endorsement revenue is minimal, totaling $1.5 million per year. The rest of his wealth has been made through business ventures, participation in other sports, like the Philippine Basketball Association, in which he played from 2014 to 2017, and politics. Manny currently serves as a senator in the Philippines. Although it's clear that the 39-year-old has many interests, he's never strayed too far from boxing. He beat Lucas Matisse in a July 2018 bout that ended in a knockout. And there are talks of Manny fighting Amir Khan in December. Thus, Pacquiao's income doesn't show any signs of slowing. If he stays in boxing and politics, look for him to rank higher in the near future. Lionel Messi Soccer players have the best contracts of all professional athletes. Well, two of them. Lionel Messi and another guy that you'll see in a few minutes. In November 2017, Messi signed one of the most lucrative contracts in soccer history. It pays the Barcelona forward an annual salary of roughly $50 million. This doesn't include bonuses, which, combined with salary, came to $84 million last season. We also can't forget to mention the $60 million signing bonus Messi received and the $835 million buyout clause if Barcelona, for some reason out of the realm of possibility, decides to get rid of him. All of these factors have helped make Messi, with career earnings totaling $600 million, one of the richest active athletes in the world. As with any marketable athlete, endorsement deals are a large part of this figure. Messi has a lifetime contract with Adidas, which pays him approximately $12 million a year. He also has deals with Pepsi and Huawei. Another factor in Messi's career earnings is tournament prize money, of which soccer players benefit more than players from other sports. Roger Federer this may be an unsurprising fact, but Roger Federer is one of the highest paid male tennis players in the sport's history. What may be surprising is that he's not leading by a huge margin. 
Though Federer has earned $170 million in his playing career, Novak Djokovic at $150 million and Rafael Nadal at $102 million are nipping at his heels. However, there's one area where the two can't catch Federer, and that's wealth earned off the court. With all revenue streams included, Rogers' career earnings are over $675 million. Obviously, endorsements play a large role in this figure. Federer's 2017-2018 endorsement revenue totaled $65 million. His brands of note include Mercedes, Rolex, Wilson, Lint, and NetJets. One of Rogers' biggest contracts with Nike expired in March, but this didn't seem to hamper the tennis star. If you include his tournament winnings, Roger made $77.2 million last season. Also significant to Roger's wealth is appearance fees, which seem to aid individual athletes more than team ones. Roger receives up to $2 million for simply showing up to certain events, something that even Lionel Messi can't claim. Eli Manning when it comes to America's favorite sport, Eli Manning clearly has the highest career earnings among active football players. In fact, he's only beat out by big bro Peyton Manning, who retired back in 2016. While this New York Giants quarterback currently has career earnings of $219 million, that number will rise to $252.3 million by the end of the four-year contract that he signed back in 2015. But that number isn't so hard to believe when you consider that Eli has been making a lot of money from the start. When he was picked up by the Giants back in 2004, he signed a six-year, $54 million contract, which wasn't at all shabby for someone who was 23 years old at the time. Eli is also one of the most marketable players off the field, and his endorsement portfolio includes Nike, Gatorade, Visa, and Toyota Motor, among others. He reportedly made $8 million in off-field money back in 2015 alone. And just in case you were wondering, no, Eli isn't planning on following in his brother's retirement footsteps. At least, not right now. He insisted back in 2017 that he can still play at a high level and isn't planning on backing down from his beloved sport just yet. Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo can always be found on lists like this one, since his earnings are highly publicized. In fact, people seem to want to talk about Ronaldo's riches more than his soccer skills. We don't blame people for this prioritizing, however, because the figures are stupefying. At just 33 years of age, Ronaldo has earned $725 million over the course of his career. His first big payday happened in 2003, when he signed with Manchester United for nearly $16 million. Compare that with the contract he signed with Juventus this July. It's reportedly worth approximately $340 million over four seasons. Juventus will pay Ronaldo $35 million in annual salary, but his gross income will actually equate to about $64 million a year. Also, part of the deal is a transfer fee paid to Ronaldo's former team, Real Madrid, which cost Juventus $140 million. Despite the gravity of these figures, Ronaldo actually took a small pay cut to join Juventus, as he was expected to make a gross income of $66 million this upcoming season if he had stayed with Real Madrid. Endorsements are where Ronaldo's bread is really buttered. He has a lifetime Nike contract worth over $1 billion. LeBron James With his new contract signed, King James is set to become the highest earning player in NBA history. Already sitting pretty high up there when he signed with the Lakers in July of 2018, James's contract will put him ahead of all the NBA's historic money makers, including Jordan, Shaq, and Kobe. He will reportedly make $35.6 million in the 2018-2019 season. 37.4 million in 2019-2020, 39.2 million in 2020-2021, and $41 million in 2021-22. Including these seasons, LeBron's career earnings will total $387.2 million by the end of the contract. He's come a long way from his rookie season, when he made only $4 million. To put these figures in perspective, over the next four seasons, LeBron will earn about half a million dollars per game. $117,000 per quarter, nearly $10,000 per minute, and $163 per second. The scariest part of all these figures is that they don't include sponsorship income. In 2017-2018 alone, he made an estimated $52 million from sponsors, which is a hefty sum. With sponsorships and salaries combined, LeBron's lifetime earnings are a comfortable $730 million. Keep in mind, he's only 33. Phil Mickelson Surprise, surprise. A golfer has more money than nearly all other athletes, and this golfer is lefty Phil Mickelson. Although Phil has long stood in the shadow of a certain more controversial golfer, he is one of the greatest and most respected athletes in history, and his career earnings reflect this fact. Mickelson has amassed $850 million over his 26-year career, but just like with other golfers, only a small fraction of Mickelson's wealth is prize money. But we're using the term small fraction loosely. His PGA Tour winnings total $87.8 million, which is the second most of all golfers. In fact, although Phil, at 48, is getting long in the tooth for a professional athlete, his yearly winnings are still substantial. In the 2018 season, Mickelson earned over $4 million in tour prizes, as well as approximately $50 million in endorsement deals. His sponsors include Callaway, Barclays, ExxonMobil, and Rolex. Phil also cleans up in public appearances, for which he can earn up to a $1 million per event. Tiger Woods 
Tiger Woods has been one of the world's highest paid athletes for over a decade. With estimated career earnings of $1.7 billion, Woods is far and away the richest active athlete. In fact, no other active athlete has surpassed a billion dollars, a sum that took Tiger more than a decade of professional golf to accumulate. This made him history's first billionaire active athlete. Tiger's road to riches began in 1996 with his professional debut at the Greater Milwaukee Open, where he won just over $2,500. It took a little over a year for Tiger to earn a substantial amount of money in tournament winnings, and by 2000, the 24-year-old was making $11 million a year. Also in 2000, Tiger signed one of the most lucrative endorsement deals in sports history when Nike offered him $105 million over five years. This would pale in comparison to future deals. By 2007, Tiger was making approximately $100 million a year on sponsorships alone. This set the stage for the watershed year of 2009 when Tiger Woods shed the pesky millionaire label for good. If including retired athletes, there's only one man who surpasses Woods in career earnings, Michael Jordan. But give Tiger a little more time and you'll see Air Jordan lying in his dust. That's all for the 10 highest paid male athletes who are still playing today. What athlete do you think has the best chance of beating Tiger? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.